that's just been with me forever. Uh, when I was five, I, I heard Judy Garland singing at a friend's house that she had a little cassette player going. Dear Mr. Gable, I am writing this to you, and I hope that you will read it so you'll know. And that was when I kind of made the career choice <laughs> that I knew I wanted to be a performer and a musician, and since then it's, it's all I've ever wanted. Hello, my name is Haley, and I'm going to sing to you who's listening to this. Dear Mr. Gable, I am writing this to you, and I hope that you will read it so you'll know. Judy Garland continues to be an inspiration to Haley, but now, instead of singing Dear Mr. Gable, she's singing her own songs. Maybe I should be okay, let the year just fall away. Haley Sales began actively pursuing her musical career at age 14. Five years later, Haley had her own record label and signed with Universal Music Canada to produce her first album. Songs from Haley's first record, Sunseed, landed in the top 40 in Canada and Japan. Her second album, The Bird Became a Book, was released internationally in 2011 and 2012. It may seem the rising star was destined for fame, but Haley knows the journey to success never comes easy. I had so many people over my life when I was when I was younger and even now kind of attempt to discourage me. I remember this one girl in sixth grade, I said, I'm gonna be a singer and an actress, and she said, I hope you enjoy waitressing. And it scarred me for life. Like I've genuinely been piecing together <laughs> what what that did to me over the years. And um, just don't listen to it, you know. It's, don't do it if you're not willing to dedicate every single part of yourself to it. So don't look at me crazy. I don't know where I want to go. And Haley has dedicated every part of herself to her music. Along with writing all her own songs, she's also learned the technical side by co-producing with her father, Richard Sales. Anything goes. I've always loved the whole process, not just writing the song and, and handing it to a producer. That's one of the reasons I, I feel very lucky that even with the first two albums Universal did, you know, let me do it here with the people I wanted to. I can't imagine just being like, here's my song, now go. I, I love the whole process. Fans now have the opportunity to learn the whole process of producing a record by becoming closely involved in Haley's third album. I don't know what to do It's really beautiful that you can kind of work directly with fans nowadays. There used to be this huge barrier in a way when you had a big record label and whatnot. And I kind of wanted to tear that down and involve everybody from day one in the, in the actual creation of the record. And also, it, it gives me the rights to my music. Like, I, I'll own everything if I raise the money myself. Haley is crowdfunding her third album through PledgeMusic.com. Haley needs to reach her financial goal by November 17th for the pledges to go to the album. Just as she's taking a unique approach to financing her record, Haley is also taking a different approach to produce it. I don't know what to say, but for you, I would trade it all. I want to approach it completely differently. Uh, more, more as though they would have in the 30s and 40s and even up till the 80s, um, where so much of it is in the pre-production, you know, getting the band together and just practicing for a really long time until all the parts just perfectly fit together, and then go in and try and record it as live as possible. It's gonna be fun to really just try and go back to how music was, in a way, just as far as the recording process, so that it's a bit more real and um, raw. Haley hopes to release her third album by late summer next year. In Coombs, I'm Ray and the Plant. I dream it, but I just can't seem to be it.